A brilliant question came up. What can you do with your miserable winder stairs that were built wrong so that at the, at the landing where you have the tapered steps, they taper to such a narrow point that you can barely put your toes on it? Well, the short answer is rip it all out and start all over again and build it right. I'll show you super straightforward this geometry. Come on in closer to this gritty paper, graphing paper. Here I'll show you what I mean by uh, it, it cannot be fixed. Uh, yeah, it just cannot be fixed. Let me just show you why. Let's start with a square here. Two, four, six by two, four, six. Now nah, that's too small. How about eight by eight? Let's make an eight by eight square. This is going to be the landing. Yeah, eight there, two, four, six, eight, eight there. All right, and we'll just make it, we'll just make it uh, there. So the actual stairs are running to it there. So you're going up on it. There are some steps there, some imaginary steps there, and some more steps there. Okay, and that, that corner is not there. That's that's a that's a cutaway it's where the steps are. You, you either have two or three steps turning through a 90 degree winder. That's what building code allows. And let me just use this kiddie ruler and lay out three. So 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. That's where your three steps are. So I'm just gonna connect it there, 30 degrees there. And there's your 60 degrees to the corner there. There, your three steps or laid out for a winder. All right, if they are too narrow here, okay, what can you do? Well, if you can make your hallways narrower, like this is gonna be, it's, sometimes it's an option, most often it's just stupid, but in terms of geometry, let's, let's just make the hallways or, or the uh, stairwell or the staircase here narrower, then you have your, then you have a chunk coming out from the center. Now here you have enough width on the stairs, on the tapered stairs, so you can put your whole foot on it. So that's one fix, but that it might be reasonable to move this inside wall. Sometimes, you know, it's possible. All right, it's, it, yeah, but most often it's not, because you need a minimum width of, uh, I don't know, 36 inches, whatever it is, I don't know, look it up in the building code, 1.1 meter, whatever, because every stair is, an, is, is, a, is a fire egress, it's a means of escaping, they must have uh, a standard width, okay, uh, building code doesn't apply to submarines and ships and whatever, so, but uh, you get the idea, they, sometimes it's not feasible to take away some of its width. However, if you want to therefore maintain the same width, then the landing will become bigger. I'll show you why. So that was seven units long. I'm just going to do it on this side here, starting, starting here. Seven units there. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm intentionally making it bigger. Two, four, six, eight, Ten. So now we have a 10 by 10 square that will be, part of it will be the landing. I'm going to lay out the same 30 degrees and 60 degrees there. Connect it to the corner like so. And like so. And of course this corner is a, let me see, seven there. This corner is a cutaway here, so nobody is walking on this one. This does not exist here anymore. So now you have enough width on the tapered steps to go up, and you have the same width of the uh, stairwell, seven, seven square units across. So if you can't make your hallway narrower, you must make your landing bigger. Instead of an eight by eight square arrangement, now we have a 10 by 10 square arrangement that provides enough foothold at the line of travel 200 millimeters or 8 inches away from the inside corner there. 
uh, to, to uh, have enough space for your foot. Okay, so those are the two geometric configurations. They either make the landing bigger and these steps, and, and of course, if you make this one bigger, you, you, that's going to that's gonna reconfigure all of the width of these steps, so you have to rip everything out, and, and uh, that's going to reconfigure also the width of these steps, because instead of three steps of, I don't know, 12 inches each, now you have three steps of 10 inches, because because this will start this will start here at the same point on the floor typically typically and the same way here if this one is taking up space in the corner and it meets an upper landing or goes to an upper level the, the distance between this and the upper landing now got shorter so that means that all of the steps leading up from here to an upper level will be instead of I don't know, six steps of 10 inches, now it's six steps of nine inches because, because you have to make your landing bigger. All right, so that's how geometry works and uh, those are the options.